Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to install Kali Slabs. I'm probably saying that completely wrong, by the way. I always want to call it Neil Slabs, but it's not. It's Kali Slabs in Minecraft 1.14.4. This is a pretty simple mod, but what it allows you to do is basically break half of a slab, right? As you can see, instead of having to break the whole thing and then replace it, you can just place all these and then just kind of like craft the pattern you want. This can be especially helpful when you're building cool big builds and things like that. And what's great, as long as you use just vanilla slabs, you can actually pull this out and pour into a non-modded world without any problems whatsoever so that is something else that's important to uh, remember and that's what's cool about this mod it's a great just building edition mod where if you're building something for a server or something like that that's officially going to not have the mod on it you can still run this mod to build for that server so um yeah it does though support some mods if you want to uh you know use modded slabs from biomes of plenty botania all of these right here and these are for 1.12.2 however they will be adding 114 ones as time goes on first and foremost though before we get this mod installed we do have a message from our sponsor which is apex minecraft host you can go to the the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to get an incredible 24-hour ddos directed minecraft server for you and your friends we actually love apex so much that we host our own server play.breakdowncraft.com on them so if you're looking for a great place to host a minecraft server for you and your friends just hang out enjoy and just have some fun playing minecraft apex minecraft hosting is the place to do it you can check them out again at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex nevertheless let's go ahead and jump right on into this the first thing we need to do is download Kali Slabs. You can find it linked in the description down below, and once you're here, you want to come over here to the right-hand side, where you'll see Minecraft 1.14. You see that? Then we'll have Kali Slabs, and in the title of the file here, it should say 1.14.4, which ours does. 1.14.4 Kali Slabs. If you've got that, you can go ahead and click the purple download button there, and it will take us off to the download page, where it will download in five seconds. After five seconds, the download will begin, and it will be in the bottom left for us on Google Chrome, but in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Bottom left of your screen in Google Chrome, center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. No matter what, though, we do need to keep the file as long as it says Kali Slabs in there, which it does. We can go ahead and click Keep, and on Mozilla Firefox, save it in the center of our screen. Now, we aren't done downloading just yet. We still need to download Forge. Luckily, if you go to the description down below, we have this in-depth tutorial on downloading and installing Forge. We are going to go over it in this video. However, if I go too fast and you have any issues, this tutorial will help you answer those issues and get everything fixed. Nevertheless, once you're here, you just want to click on this green Download Forge button. It will then take us off to Forge's official website, where we want to make sure we've got the 1.14.4 version of Forge. And we don't. Why? Because it says MC 1.13.2 here. So what we want to do is click on the plus here, under 1.14, and then click 1.14.4. Then, whenever it says MC 1.14.4 here, we're at the right place. After that, we want to go ahead and under Download Recommended here, click on the Installer button. So Download Recommended, Installer there. Click on that and it will go ahead and begin your download in the bottom left center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. We want to keep this file as long as it starts with Forge, engine.jar. All ours does, so we can go ahead and click Keep to save the file. Mozilla Firefox, just save in the center of your screen, again, as long as it has Forge in the title. Now we can go ahead and minimize the browser. On our desktop, we have Forge and we have Kali Slabs. Now we want to start off with Forge. Right click on Forge, click on Open With, and then click on Java TM Platform SE Binary. But what if you don't have Java Platform SE Binary, or what if you do and it just doesn't work? Well, no problem, we have a solution for you. Go to the description down below and you'll find this, how to download and install Java for Minecraft. So this is our in-depth tutorial on downloading and installing Java, getting the correct version of Java for Minecraft. You may have Java, but you might not have the right Minecraft version, or the right Java version for Minecraft, and that's what we ensure you get here. We also have this in-depth video that shows you how to do that as well. Now, if you install Java and it's still not working, you might need to run the jar fix. This has helped over 300,000 people fix their jar files and basically make them work with Java again. That's what it does. So as you can see, how to use the jar fix, repair.jar files on your PC. That's what this is going to do. And this is an in-depth, easy three-step tutorial on how to do that. Once you've done that, though, you should finally be able to right-click on Forge, click on Open With, and then click on Java TM Platform SE Binary, and then click OK. That will then open up this handy Forge mod installer, or this Forge installer, I should say. Go ahead and click on Install Client, and click OK. It will then go through, download, install Forge, do everything that it needs to do in order to get basically Forge up and running for Minecraft 1.14. Eventually, it will say successfully installed, Client Profile Forge for 1.14.4. Once it does, click OK. Now we've got Kali Slabs here. How do we get this installed? Well, no worries. You click on the little Windows icons in the top left for me, bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon in the bottom left click on that and then go ahead and type in run are you in you'll then have this run desktop application here click on that and it will open up this in the little text box here go ahead and type percent app data percent percent sign app data percent sign and then hit enter 
and then go ahead and open up our folder here, which is our roaming folder. And here you'll find .minecraft. You should have a .minecraft folder. Open up that folder, and then you should have a mods folder. But Nick, what if I don't have a mods folder? Don't freak out. It's okay. It's okay. It's not a problem if you don't have a mods folder. What do you do? You just create one. You right click, create a new folder. So sorry, right click over here in the white space, create a new folder, and then title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. And then go ahead and open up your newly created mods folder. Then take the Klee Slabs file we downloaded and drag that into your mods folder. Boom, you now have Klee Slabs installed. It is pretty easy, to be honest. But we're not done just yet. We still need to make sure we're opening up the Forge profile of Minecraft. To do that, go ahead and open up your normal Minecraft launcher. And then you should be able to click on Installations here. And in your Installations tab, you'll have this Forge tab. But if you don't have that Forge tab, what do you do? Well, no problem and no worries. We can simply create one. To do that, click the plus new right up here at the top. Then go ahead and name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our green Grief Protected Minecraft server. We have Grief Protected Survival, a medieval survival server with over 25 quests and a player-based economy, and an aquatic survival server with an incredible slash shop-based economy. We also have custom skyblock for you and your friends to come enjoy. So play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Come play with us anytime you'd like. Nevertheless, for the version here, we want to click on this like drop-down box, and when we click on it, we should have a Forge version here. So we have release 1.14.4-Forge. Now, I know that the stable release of Forge is 28 8.0.1. How do I know that? Because the file we downloaded is Forge, and at the end it has 28.0.1. Now I haven't installed the newer version for testing, but that's the one we're going to install here. If yours is different, that's fine as long as it's the latest stable release of Forge. Once you've selected that, go ahead and click Create. I'm going to change my resolution, then click Create. Now we can find the profile we created, in our case, play.breakdowncraft.com, excuse me, and then click the green play button when you hover over it that comes up towards the right of it. Now it's going to open up Minecraft 1.14.floor with Klee Slabs and installed. It's that easy. I'm sure I'm butchering the name of this mod. It is it is kind of sad <laughs> how much I'm just completely butchering it. I'm trying my best though. I'm trying my best. All right, as you can see, we are opening up Minecraft here. Now, one of the things I do want to mention for Forge, I've noticed this has been happening in 114 for some reason. Sometimes it'll just freeze and go not responding and that can be a little scary right whenever you're opening minecraft or whatever or anything and it just kind of goes not responding like this now there's two methods to do this you can sit and let it wait itself out for a little while but a lot of times that doesn't do anything and as you can see it's just kind of like spinning beach ball of death not really it's not a beach ball but basically the spinning blue circle of death so we can just kind of go ahead and close out of it here and as you can see java is not responding close the program oh no it didn't work but it did. So go ahead and just, you know, game crash. That's fine. Just go ahead and click close. And then select the profile we created. Play.breakdowncraft.com. Should be Forge and all that stuff. Come over here. We can confirm it is Forge. Go ahead and click play on it. And it'll work now. Yep. Just let it crash. Then open it back up. And it's going to work. I don't know why Forge is like that in 1.14. But it's something I've noticed on multiple mods. So I always like to mention it. And it actually is pretty much always happens to us whenever we're doing these tutorials here. Because, well, I mean... I don't know, it just seems to happen. But uh, yeah, so now it's going to open up all the way perfectly fine and very quickly. As you can see, boom, there we go, and now we're in the main menu. So if that happens, fine. Just close out of it, and it'll work perfectly fine. Now we go and click on the Mods tab here. We can see the Klee Slabs tab, as you, or Sleaze Clab, Klee Slabs Mod. There we go, I got there. And then we can go ahead, and I'm going to create just a new world. I'm going to name it Klee Slabs. We're going to go into Creative, just because of why not. And then just jump right on into it. So I'm going to let this world load up. And then I'll show you this mod is working in game. And then guess what? We'll be done. You will have Klee Slabs installed in Minecraft 1.14.4. All right. Here we are in game. I'm going to do slash seed right like so. So you guys can see the seed. I know everybody likes to see that. But nevertheless, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves some slabs real quick. Right like so. Boom, let's just let's just grab like some some oak slabs here and we'll, we'll, ooh, we'll grab some 114 specific ones too, like a diorite slab. So let's go ahead and do that right like so and then go ahead and do this right like so. So now what we want is we want to give ourselves an axe. So if we get ourselves an axe here, a uh, diamond axe and a diamond pickaxe, we'll be able to get these mined. So I'm going to go into game mode survival and we should now be able to just break the half slab boom as you can see that one broke break the bottom one boom that one broke the mod is working then we can we'll, we'll, do, we'll do the reverse of that over here we'll do boom and boom there we go so now we have this like 
I don't know, it kind of looks a little bit cool to be honest, I'm not gonna lie. But now we have made this by breaking these individual slabs. You can even do stuff like this, for example, we could build up all the way up here. There we go, and then just kind of break every other one, right? So we could do that and that, and then you could even do the, the opposite. So this is what I'm talking about. If you're building like a wall like this, for example, this is a great way to do it because it allows you to easily break these in like a pattern. So we've got this now. We wanna break the ones right here, right here, right there, right there, and right there, and right there, boom. And now we're creating this cool kind of wall sort of pattern there. It looks cool, it looks fun, and it's in Minecraft 1.14.4. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. We make all kinds of awesome and incredible Minecraft tutorials here, and come join us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We have grief protected survival, custom skyblock. You will absolutely love it. So again, come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.